सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल गुड टू ग्रेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल क्लिक हियर एंड आल्सो क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन Hi friends Today in this video we will learn how to create table in our html page Okay at first open the sublime text editor and create a file with any name i have already created a file table.html now at first write the basic structure like html head part body part okay those tags now i will give a title table now come to the body part and write the tag name table okay inside table I will give some attribute like border. I am setting border to four and cell padding to six and cell spacing to six. Okay. I will suggest you go to Google and search for cell. uh cell padding and cell spacing if you don't know these attributes uh you will get that they are in a better form i mean in google it is described clearly how does it works okay i will recommend that okay i will also tell you what is cell padding and cell spacing okay uh after at first let me create the table then i will show you in the table okay from here you won't be able to understand what i am saying so at first i will create the first row use the tr command here i will also use the th command inside tr command i will use the th command th command stands for table heading and tr command stands for table row okay uh, let me give a heading name like student information okay i am creating a two column table the first column will contain the student name and the second column will contain the student roll number okay i am using a call span command here and using two this means that the color that the two column that means the two columns which we will contain in the table will merge and become a one row okay i will show you in output how does it works okay now again i am writing the next row here i am giving the heading again at first student name now student roll number okay then i am declaring the next row with table data at first for the first row i am using i mean for the first row for table data i mean here we will input the data these are the headings okay this row contains a heading 
this row also contains this row follow me clearly and this row contains a heading again this row contains a heading but this row I am using for data that's why I am using table data for table heading the text are in bold but for table data the text are in normal format okay here I am writing the name Amit another data here I am giving a roll number as 10 again for next row I am using table data here I am giving as Rahul and here I am giving Rahul's roll number as 25 ok now I am saving the page and let open it in browser and see what how does it looks like looks like okay mm, okay look this is how it looks like here the student information the division between the column has been removed due to this command call span call span means two columns are merged together okay and for row span two rows are merged together okay guys remember that look here two columns have been merged together and created a single column okay and student name and student roll number are in bold format due to for table heading and these are in normal format due to table data okay this is the format which we use in normal HTML. Now I will show you how we do this thing in HTML5. Okay. Let me remove this. Fine. Now in HTML5, we have different command like not like we have different command known as t head okay t head remember that this is for the heading part t head command is for heading part now i am writing here table row in the table heading part I mean what uh, the rows I will uh, write here in the t-head section the rows which contain in the t-head section will be considered as heading ok heading in the table now let me give some data um, like I am writing uh, product info ok fine and I am merging two columns here call span 2 ok I am merging two columns here next I am again creating a table row inside the heading section here it will contain product name and in the next part it will contain quantity fine guys now come to the body part for the body part we write t body and again a row here we will give the table data 
Suppose we have some books. It contains here I will give the quantity 500 books. Okay. Then again product name. Uh, let me give uh, some shoes. Okay. And it contains 300 shoes. Okay. And here is uh, another part known as T foot. That is the end part, head, body, and foot. T foot. Okay. Inside this, I will write the footer part. That means the foot part, the last part. Here, I am again doing call spam. Okay. And I am writing total quantity equals to 800 ok now save the file and see how does it looks like look this is the heading portion this part is the heading, this part is the body and this part is the foot part. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel. And also click the notification bell to get notified for new videos. Thank you.